it's uh, it's about uh, get the trial of CVV uh, and Salem. It's uh, it's about a woman that that uh, searching her freedom <clears throat> around uh, more than ten years, uh, and she asked her husband to just liberate her, and he don't. So he don't he he doesn't accept to liberate her. So it's about a trial that she tried, to, he, he, she opened a file in a court and, and trying to, to get him, but he refuses also to arrive to the court. So uh, it's about that, it's a trial of, uh, of it's a process of, of divorce. But the film is uh, completely realistic, it's like 100% realistic on, on all accounts. Uh, whatever you see in the film is like really entering a, a completely real Israeli rabbinical court where women and men are coming to get a divorce. So uh, of course we had our research, and uh, uh, but the, the thing is that the, there is no other court in Israel today if you want to get a divorce. So the only way to to get the get, which is like the paper, the file that gives you your your, your liberty, is to go through these courts, and there is no civil law. Not for marriage and not for divorce. There's only one law, and it's a religious law. We are with we think now that it will be maybe the first film ever, anyway, on, on Israel, in Israel, that's going to change something in the reality because uh, something very great happened uh, since the, the film released in Israel. Every day, every day, it was it erased. Um, uh, big awareness. Uh, very big awareness, and so many articles and, and uh, talking, uh, and uh, mi mission, and the television, and all over. We are talking about that every day, and it's it's like uh, it's a very big chance actually for the Israeli people. The first time that they 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 could see something like that because it's it's not a court. It's not a public court. So in Israel, you can enter to the <clears throat> tribunal and see whatever uh, process that you want. Like a murder uh, case or whatever case you can go in, but you cannot go into the... You cannot deal, uh, watch uh, something that deal with divorce. So for Israel, it's like a, a no, it's, a, it's a very big, huge surprise that people want to see what's happened behind this, uh, this closed uh, doors. What might Come, what might be coming for them one day if they want to get uh, a divorce? But but also the, the film the film has made this like a uh, very big leap because it started as a film, you know, before it came out. I mean, the film was in Cannes and everybody heard about the film and they said, all right, we're waiting to see this film because also it's part of a trilogy and they want to see these characters again. But when the film went out, at a certain point, uh, it made the leap from a, a cultural event because a lot of people went to see the film into a very big political event. And that what that what made like the first big uh, big change and something that was incredible for us. I mean, when it was in Israel and I was uh, here in LA and we got uh, we got an, uh, a phone call uh, saying that the, the rabbinical judges in their annual conventions, uh, I think it's uh, two weeks from now, are going to watch the film. And this is like something incredible. It's incredible because people were trying to, to change the law. For the last, um, I don't know, o over 2,000 years, big, big Jewish philosophers were trying to bend the law and to see how can they amend it to the new needs of societies throughout the centuries, and nobody ever uh, succeeded to to do anything with it. So that would actually be the first time that uh, the chief or head rabbi for Israel would sit in a table and talk about what can be done with this law. Which is like, you know, it's like a leap of faith in, in many ways. It's like, uh, it's amazing. I was uh, screaming at home when I heard it. It's like, ah, I didn't believe it. Yeah, but it also means that the film is being endorsed in a very positive way, even though it's critical. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. so you never expected this to happen? Like that? Yeah. No. Wow. We couldn't, we couldn't really imagine such a reaction like that. It's like, uh, you know, the, the, all the rabbis, all the rabbis going to see, to sit together in a in cinema, cinema. 
Yeah. You know, it's around, I don't know, I don't know, it's thousands crazy. of, uh, yeah. thousands. I don't know, we don't the know. Numbers, like few hundreds only, of them. Only like men, that. rabbis, with a head, and, and to see the film, <laughs> it's like, uh, they ask him a lot, did you see the get? You see did you see the get? No, no, I can't go to the cinema, you know, of yeah. course. And, and in the end, he, 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 he understood that he must see the film, so uh, there is a conference in February, and he decided just to show everybody, and we hope. I think it's the it's the first time they're going to see their own court from the point of view of a woman. That's like uh, incredible. They never, I mean, they look at women all their life, you know, coming to get divorced. But it's the first time they're going to see the trial from the point of view of the heroine of the film, of Vivian, which is like uh, incredible. You know, I got this message and I had to run from home to a screening, and I sat down at that day at the screening. And all I could imagine while watching the film is myself as a rabbi watching myself on the screen, and it's uh, incredible. It's really, I think it's, uh, I think it's extremely positive. I mean, yeah. it's uh, something that's maybe unique for the Israeli society, the playing with self-critics. Mm. Yeah. But we arrive uh, in. No, it's it became really tragic and, and dangerous for, for the women in Israel. It's, uh, if they're not going to, to do something now, it will be dangerous for, for, for the future because we cannot con continue, you know, live in that way. Because to do the film for us, it was the, the real question was, am I, who, who am I? Can I choose my life or not? Who, who is choosing for me? Okay, so, uh, you know the life of this this woman are uh, subjected uh, to to somebody else yeah, belong to belong to to someone else. So this is something that must be changed. I don't know how and how long time it will take and everything, but it must be changed. It's uh, it's not possible to continue like no, like it, that. It's the change is happening. You know what? Um, yeah, of course. Before before the film was was there, uh, the 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 headquarters of the rabbinical courts were asked how many cases you have of like you know how many women are waiting, and they would always say we have around be, be, between five hundred to one thousand open cases, and. Six weeks after the film was out, they were obliged to open the archives, and we discovered 45,000 cases of women who are waiting, and uh, and not counting those who wait under uh, under 18 months. So it's like, um, I mean, the the change is happening now. 